Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought for today's video, instead of doing a makeup tutorial like Get Ready With Me birthday edition, I was gonna do it on this makeup, but this isn't the best cut crease I've ever done in my life, so we'll see. Mm. Uh, I thought for today's video, I would sit down and just share with you guys like 25 of my favorite things. This is just like shit I love and I always go back to and things I just can't live without. I thought. I thought this could be an interesting video. I probably have more than 25 things. I'm gonna start off with what I have on my lips right now. It's a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. It is in the shade Morocco. I have an entire swatch collection on these puppies. I love these things. This is, I guess this is one of my 25 things I can't live without. I just, I love this color, especially with my blue hair. Ooh, that's pretty. First things first, I'm gonna start off with talking about coconut oil because coconut oil, oh my God, I swear to God, is just one of my not best kept beauty secrets but it's one of my beauty secrets i put coconut oil on everything whenever i get out of the shower i am slick like a seal i put it in my hair let it sit overnight give it a couple washes the next morning my hair is just beautiful after i put this on my lips i put this on everything any i cook with this anything that you could imagine coconut oil is used for I literally use coconut oil for that so I just I can't live without coconut oil and if you have oily skin you're like oh I'm scared literally just go get some uh, this is like almost all gone I love coconut oil I love me a tangle teaser I don't know where I was with brushing my hair before I came across this but I must have been like a prehistoric person trying to comb my hair with like some stupid brush that's just not as you know unique and advanced as this little puppy honestly go into sephora grab it spray it with some 70 percent alcohol see if there's any random hair in it and brush it through your hair it's just i don't know what sort of like technology or like wizardry is in here but this thing brushes your hair so nicely and it doesn't even feel like you're brushing your hair i don't know i love this thing i cannot live without a tangle teaser Ooh, i have a food item this is so random i actually found this i have a story okay so I don't know if you guys know, but when I was 21, I went to Greece and I literally like camped on a beach, like random for like a month. That's what I did. I was so broke and I, literally all I ate was these things, these sesame snack things. I was in a place called Madala. Uh, just Google it. It's like the prettiest place in the entire world. Anyway, we were there and there was just no like... There was a, like a little convenience store, but there was no like grocery store. So we were either eating out or else like living off of this or salt chips. Not plain chips, not salt and vinegar, salt flavored chips. Oh, I just want to go back to Greece to have salt chips. Oh, they were so good. These, I lived off of these and I actually found this at HomeSense and this was $2.99. Oh, this is so good. It's like my favorite thing. I literally eat this all in one sitting. It's probably not good for you. I think it's just like sesame seeds and honey. I think that's literally the ingredients. Oh, 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 these aren't like the like, I don't know, like North American like little snack things. It's so much better. I love this shit. I want to talk about my little Canon Vixia Mini because I love this camera so much. I've recently like started, I'll vlog like whenever I can, like really randomly. I, I'm... <clears throat> I love this camera. I really knew that I wanted it when I purchased it, but just having it, I love it even more. It's like a fish eye lens. Oh, I've mentioned it in one of my favorites videos. I just absolutely love this thing. I'll turn it on so you guys can see what it's all about just because I love it. I've actually dropped it once and it has like a little, you know, but it's just a fish eye. Like, can you see what's going on here? This camera is just everything to me. Like, look, there I am. It just gets so close. I, I don't know how I lived my life without this thing. It's so compact, it's so little, and I can take it anywhere. And people are always like, what is that? And they're just so interested in what this little like machine is. Being at my ripe age of 25, if you wanna start documenting your life, invest in a great vlogging camera. This one is awesome. I love this thing so much. We'll talk about some makeup items. You guys know I love my Anastasia Beverly Hills, my Brow Wiz. This is in the shade Ebony. I try a zillion other brow products, but every single morning when I wake up, I have a little smile on my face because I just want to put the Brow Wiz on my brows. It looks so natural. It literally takes nothing to fill in your brows. I literally go like under my brow, on top of my brow, fill it in a little, switch it over to the spoolie and brush it out. That is my brow. It takes me two seconds in the morning. <sighs> Another item I cannot live without is Too Faced Better Than Sex. I neglected to try this mascara for my entire adult life until this year. And I swear to you, you know when you're sitting there and you're applying your mascara and you're like, oh, wow, okay. 
when's when's my lash just actually gonna like have some volume to it like wow oh this is taking forever oh oh okay maybe oh no you know this thing is a one-stop shop you run it through your lashes once and it's done it is so gorgeous it has collagen in the formula it lifts lengthens curls done let's discuss a concealer now specifically for us pale girls this concealer is everything for us but for other people too i this is my number one like go-to concealer for anybody. It is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the lightest one. It's in, someone told me how to pronounce it, Chantilly? Chantilly? I don't know. It's perfect on me and I love the consistency. Some people say it's super drying underneath their eyes. I have like the driest like sucking up everything kind of skin but I don't find it to be too dry underneath my eyes sometimes around my nose sure but underneath my eyes not really and especially when you set it with a beautiful powder like a really finely milled powder oh this thing does wonders honey the beauty blender I'm showing you one wet and showing you one dry because people still are very confused about the beauty blender and trust me I was as well people will come in and say do you guys have a bigger size I need a bigger size I'm like girl there's only one size a sponge expands when it gets wet obviously I say it nicer it expands when it gets wet and this is it dry so you can see there is a huge size difference but just so you guys know wet it and then the product doesn't get absorbed it just gives you a flawless like airbrush finish like it gives you the texture of this oh it's just it's so beautiful I've literally had one of my beauty blenders for three years I believe just because I take care of them and I wash them and I dry them if anyone is new to my channel here, or if you're not, you guys know I talk about this so much, but I had to include my Mary Luminite just because I've had this thing for so many years and I love it to death and it is my, I will use other highlighters just if I'm looking for a different look for the day, but my go-to for anything is my Mary Luminizer. It's not even picking it up. I don't even know if it's picking it up, but like on the top of the cheekbone like oh honey yes let's talk about a lip scrub my favorite lip scrubs of all time are from lush i have two here i have santa's lip scrub and then mint juleps but this one came out around christmas time it's kind of it tastes like coca-cola and it's just really neat and i find that this one like stains my lips after once i use it because it, it does have a red color to it so when i'm just like running out of the house or using a new just gloss over top this is one i'll use but then i'll use mint juleps at night once my lips are just so beautifully exfoliated i always like to put a gloss on top and my go-to gloss lately i know gloss it's weird but for me it's been my Too faced lip injection extreme i love the extreme one honey this gets your lips huge I want a little lip injection I'm 25 so maybe I'll do that I don't know we'll see this year I've had this like obsession with lips and I really want I just want like my upper lip like a little bit bigger like I feel like they're ski slope two of them there's the lip injection and lip injection extreme this one it gives you long-term results as well and it gets your lips huge don't put it outside your lip line because I put it over here once and then like the entire like side of my face was like bigger <laughs> Like, not, like, extremely bigger, but, like, I could feel that it was, like, a little bit, like, plumped a little. This thing makes your lips. It just, for me especially, I like to put it on just to smooth out the lines of my lips because I find that I have a lot of lines in my lips, and I like it to be just smooth, you know? I'm going to talk about a couple pro products here. My Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. This is available on Sephora.com. Nicole Guerrero made a video and she used it and she just like lightly dipped her brush in it and then wiped it on paper towel. No, dump it out in a bowl, soak your brush in it, hold it there, let the product dissolve off of it and then wipe it on a clean paper towel. I suggest doing it that way because then the product is dissolving and you're not ruining your brush by like rubbing it on a towel for so long. I love this stuff so much. It is a time saver, a life saver. Just buy it and try it out. You can find it to be a little bit expensive, but it lasts you. It truly, truly lasts. And no, you don't have to wash your brushes after you've used this. You don't have to shampoo them. This is just a replacement. They get just as clean as with it, like a shampoo in the sink. My bed and I, final seal. Oh, I haven't even sprayed this on my face today, and I should just because it's so hot out right now. And I'm like schwitzing sitting here. This stuff is amazing. It's a matte makeup sealer. Oh, you gotta watch yourself when you put that on though. It, a part of me feels like it might just be mouthwash in there because it has an extreme peppermint like scent to it. But I can feel it on my lips like mattifying my lipstick. I can like feel it on there. It's the best I've ever used. My friend Brian actually had this at his place and Brandon was like, you have to try this thing. So I used it once and 
my makeup stayed forever if you have oilier skin or you find your makeup doesn't sit on your face long or it just rubs off or you know maybe you have like I don't know you rub your face or touch your face a lot try this out how much was this thing this was only $12.95 for this and I've had this for two months and I use this thing pretty well every day how much are the Urban Decay ones like $40 and I think I don't even know how much you get in that but I think $12 for this not bad I wanted to mention a sunscreen just because we're entering in the summer months and it is hot as hell out there I just I have to go sit on a bus later no honey I need a car this is the Estee Lauder Daywear Advanced Multi Protection Antioxidant and UV Defense this is a broad spectrum of SPF 50. This is my second tube of this. The first one I got, I actually got as gratis from Sephora when I worked at Sephora, and then I repurchased it. I know Tarte has a new sunscreen, and it's just flying off shelves. If you can't get a hold of it and you're wanting a facial sunscreen, try this one out. I know it's not like Shiseido. It's not like a really fancy sunscreen. I don't feel it on my skin. I just almost feel like it's another little step, like another little primer. It's not heavy. It's just, it's my favorite facial sunscreen just because... Well, first of all, it has SPF 50, and I need that for this. Like, are you kidding me? Like, trying to go out there with, like, not SPF 50? Ugh, no. Sits on the face nicely. That's all I have to say. This is one of my kit must-haves, and I wanted to mention this because I love this thing. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this. This is the Top Coat by Anna Sui. You can find Anna Sui in, like, the bay or in, like, department stores, you know? What this is is a lip color top coat. It doesn't mattify your lipstick, but it completely waterproofs it. You can put on any cream on your lip apply a little bit of this on top, just pat it on top, and it completely waterproofs it. It's not gonna dry out your lips, it has a nice finish on it, but you can rub your lips on the friggin' wall, and there ain't gonna be no lipstick on that wall. I love this <sighs> so much. I'm not one to take, you know, Tylenol or Advil or anything like that, just because I, I am always like, well, my body will fix itself. I don't know, I'll just, my body will figure it out. But when I do have a splitting headache, I need this. This is the Sage, this is the Peppermint Halo. This is a headache remedy. I've mentioned this before, this is my life. I love Sage so much. I want everything from that store and Winnipeg has one and it's just, it's so exciting to me. This gets rid of my headache in an instant and sometimes I even just put it on my head because it just makes your head tingle and like, it's just like a cooling sensation and it feels really neat. I'm almost out of it too. I'm so upset about it. We all know I am dry as a desert when it comes to my skin, but I still have to set my face with powder. And I've actually been going back to my Guerlain Meteorites. This is in Too Eclair. I love these powders because it just gives your skin a nice healthy glow. It's just like a whole bunch of little balls. It smells like something from my childhood. I don't know. I feel like it, it doesn't smell like my grandma, but it feels like it smells like something from my childhood and I just can't, I cannot pinpoint it. But it smells like something, like I don't, I don't know, like a Barbie doll or something. This is what the looks, I'm gonna spill them. Just swirl my brush in there. They're different colors just because it brightens your skin and just color corrects any, you know, discoloration on your skin. They have just a beautiful glow and illumination to them and I find that it really gives me a healthy look to my face instead of being completely matte. I'm kind of over the whole matte face type thing, like just like Mer. I really like the healthy, kind of looks like I'm not wearing makeup but still got a pound of makeup on kind of look. On my Instagram account, whenever I'm wearing this little puppy right here, I get so many comments asking, girl, what is that inner corner highlight? All this is, is the NYX. This is the Ultra Pearl Mania, and it's in the shade, I don't even know what shade this is in, White Pearl. It's in the shade White Pearl. It's the whitest pearl eyeshadow I've ever come across in my life, and I love this thing. There are so many great NYX products that are just so... <sighs> So overlooked and this is one of them and this thing has lasted me friggin forever. A lot of these NYX loose pigments have beautiful coloration to it but especially this white pearl. If I ever have something in my inner corner it's this puppy. Fragrance time! And I'm mentioning this because I always mention this but I just feel like I always have to mention it in case there's new people to my channel which there always are every single day. My favorite fragrance of all time and still it just reminds me of being young and stupid. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. It's Armani Code. It just, it has like a really like sensual, like not peppery scent, but just like a seductive, like, <laughs> I don't know. Am I describing this well? I love the scent of it. It just, it works really nicely with my body. I've said this before. It just, it makes me smell really good. 
and a lot of guys really like this fragrance so if you're trying to catch a man go try this one out it smells really nice the best makeup wipes i have used in my entire 24 years living on this planet 25 years wow yep the Kirkland, what are these? The Daily Facial Towelettes. They are extra large wipes with cucumber, chamomile flower, extract, and aloe. These things are huge. They get everything off. They're like quilted and they're just so removey. Like they take everything off in an instant. You can get a huge box of them for like 12 bucks at Costco, which is amazing because at any drugstore you can buy like a pack of like 30 for like six bucks like are you kidding me you can get like 400 for the cheapest price thought i'd mention those because i will continuously be using these because i don't really have to rub my face with them and especially this is another thing if i don't feel like taking my makeup off with an eye makeup remover i'll just hold them over my eyes and they'll kind of just dissolve the product just because they're so wet and thick and just like ooh, take it off but when I do need to remove my eye makeup, if I'm wearing a waterproof mascara, this. This is the NYX Eye and Lift Makeup Remover. I actually use this when I friggin' prosated on latex brow covers in the NYX Face Awards. This removed it. I don't know what product is in here or what ingredient that removed it. I don't know, but it removed it so nicely. And if it can remove prosate, it sure as hell is going to remove any other product that is on your face. I've mentioned this palette a zillion times before. I don't even know if I really have to say anything about it except for just show it. This is the Suva Beauty eyeshadow palette. I've literally taken every other eyeshadow palette out of my kit and I just have this thing in it. I love it. Let me just show you the power of makeup. Oh! Are you ready? Ding! Just so pigmented. Wow, good thing I have these Kirkland wipes. Just seeing it in action. There we go. Yep. Yes, here they are. I have a couple more products just to touch on. This is an oil I always use on my skin. I know I mentioned my coconut oil, but once I clean my skin as well, this is the first thing I put on my skin just to, you know, absorb into my skin before I put any serums or moisturizers on. This is the Clarence Blue Orchid Face Treatment Oil. It has 100% pure plant extracts. It is for dehydrated skin. And when I'm not using this, uh, -uh it's like my, if I move my face at all, it's gonna crack. When I put this on, it, I can feel the hydration and I feel like I can move my skin and it's not so dry and crusty. It's very hydrating. It's just so moisturizing. I love this better than argan oil for my face and I used to love putting argan oil on my face but once I found this, uh-uh, this one. This is so random but I have to mention this. When I'm standing for hours on end doing people's makeup, I need a comfortable pair of shoes and I was just wearing like flats and like fancy shoes before and then I went out and I bought some Skechers and I don't want you guys to like <laughs> judge me for this but these shoes are the most comfortable thing I have ever put on my feet. I went into the store, tried them on and I walked out of the store wearing them because it legit feels like you're walking on clouds and they are the Skechers Flex with Memory Foam. I kept the box specifically to show you guys. I was going to do it in a favorites video but I'm, it was on my floor and I'm like I'm mentioning this in this video. These things are the most comfortable shoe I have ever used in my life. Like at the bottom of them, what is in there? A rock. It's just like walking on air like a cloud. Gorgeous. If you have any back problems, I had a pinch nerve in my back for like I think three weeks there and I could not move and I had to wear something on my feet and walk around and still work these things saved my life go try them on you're gonna buy them I think they were $70 they were on sale for $70 maybe they were 80 those are all of the things I wanted to share with you guys the 25 things I can't live without in my ripe age of 25 I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna go enjoy my birthday I don't really think I'm doing much but tomorrow I'm getting my hair done thank god it's gonna be a surprise maybe you guys don't even know what I'm gonna do to it yet but you guys will see um, make sure that you guys follow me on Instagram if you haven't already it's Bailey Bailey Vanderbeen. I was about to say Bailey Beauty XO. Remember when my Instagram was Bailey Beauty XO? That's not my name on my Instagram anymore. It's Bailey Vanderbeen. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Oh my God.
it's pride this weekend you guys have no idea how excited i am oh it's like gay christmas but like i just oh it's just gonna be so fun anyway i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah.